was required to log in with his user ID. This allowed the system to keep bookmarks and a back-end MIS on the system usage. The system starts off with an opening animation. The user is then required to fill in the data of his course and the organization. An acknowledgement screen gives the required data to the user. As an attention grabber and teaser, video of a popular advertisement is played. A few questions trigger the thought process in the learner. The user is then required to make a choice of his level in the course. Next, one can explore the course by means of the roadmap. Concepts are brought out through diagrams, along with plain text. At the end of each section is a quiz, with questions like match the columns, etc. Fill in the blanks. Drag and drop. After going through all the sections, the learner is put into the shoes of a brand manager of a popular car manufacturer and is asked to chalk out his marketing strategy. To start off, he is provided with the market data. After a few interactions, he is shown the advertisements and perception mapping of the competing brands. After completing the case, he interacts with an expert. The answers that the user had entered are compared with the answers of the expert. Hence, one learns how he has gone through the course. After this case, the user can go through a certification and see if he has enough points to clear the conceptual levels. In the same instructional flow, topics like counseling, product knowledge, and finance are covered. In the finance module, courses like balance sheet, profit and loss, working capital, cash flow, capital expenditure, and financial ratios are covered. The only difference being the concepts are covered through anchored instruction. The story of Uncle Scrooge and how he made his empire is brought out using various finance concepts. These courses were very much used in ICI and the Lotus Notes backend was used to track the data.